What is MVC? It is an acronym for Model View Controller. In short, it represents a design pattern for building applications, web and otherwise. We will be taking a rather strict approach to MVC. Views, those things that are delivered to the browser, constitute the interface that allows the client to interact with the application. Our views will only interact with controllers through routes. The controller will contain all of the logic needed to determine what the client is requesting and how to properly respond. If the controller determines that data stored in the database is needed for the response, it will call on the model to query the data from the database, and the model will return the result set to the controller. The controller may also need some utility functions to work with the result set and will call those functions from outside resources that we build for such a purpose. The overarching idea behind the MVC approach is a distinct separation of tasks, with each item in the application filling a specific task. Views always represent the interface. Controllers always control the flow from request through response. Models serve to interact with the database server to store, retrieve, update, or delete data. Closely related is the use of external packages, which were discussed earlier. These packages, once installed, must be imported or required in order to be used. In this exercise, you will create the database connection first. We will use a pool approach, which means when the application connects to the database server, it creates a pool of connections. This makes the ability to deal with multiple requests faster. As part of the connection pool, we will store values in an environment file here in the development environment and in environment variables in the production environment. This allows an increased level of security by having confidential values available without exposing them to outside locations. You'll notice that we also use an environment variable to distinguish what code will be used in which environment. We will also build our first model. It will only contain a single function at this point. The function will query our database server for data which will be manipulated and used as the main navigation bar for the application. In turn, our first controller will be built. It will be given simple logic to trigger the process to get the data from the database, wrap it up in HTML, attach a CSS identifier to the HTML structure, then deliver that to the index.egs view and cause the view to be returned to the browser. The route, which listens for the HTTP GET verb requesting the home view, will be altered to send the request to the controller for processing. The utility file containing the function to get the data back from the model, wrapping it up in an HTML structure, and sending it to the controller will also be built. Finally, the navigation partial file will be edited to display the now dynamically generated navigation bar rather than the old static code. It cannot be stressed enough that there are many moving parts, but each one carries out its task and allows the others to do their part. Together, they make the application work. When finished, the application should work just as it did previously but taking on a more professional approach and an approach that uses the separation of tasks to allow an overall ease of maintenance and scalability.